Hello there and welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about the ATTRs uh, module of Python. So basically, this module allows you to create a class with, without boilerplate. And uh, in the past, I, I have used this module, but it was, let's say, forgotten or I don't know, uh, didn't put too much effort into uh, transforming my Python code base with this module, but there is the need arose to pick this module up once again. And recently, I have taken a look at uh, Hinax uh, PyCon talk, and uh, to be honest, I was pretty much inspired to pick up this module once again. And what I want to do is in this video show you around how you can use this ATTRs module. So let's jump right into it. Here, what I'm going to do is to create uh, new folders. So classes without boilerplate. And inside here, what I want to do is to create a virtual environment. CWB and let's activate it. Uh, CWB bin activate dot fish. And once this is activated, we can use the pip install on the ATTRs module. Let me try to make the text a little bit bigger. All right, so now this module is installed. Let's open up our favorite text editor and create our first script. Let's call this demo.py. And let's edit it. So for example, uh, we have the following class. Let's call this point. And if you don't use any kind of magic, let's say a point has an X and a Y coordinate, what you could do is to write an init function and specify the appropriate arguments, X and Y, and then record it in the instance. So self.y equals Y. And after you instantiate it, X equals 10, and y equals 20, you could simply print out this one. Let me save it, create a new window, and here I am going to activate it as well and navigate here. Where is my script? Oh, it's in the CWB folder. <laughs> okay, so let's run it, demo.py. All right, so if we take a look at this message, this is not really talkative, because if we want to make it more, let's say, uh, fine grade, we can define or override the str function and then simply return technically an f string and we could use the, what should we use? Hmm? Curly braces and say that point, oh, let me try to make it bigger, point has the self x and has the self y coordinates and if we run it once again you can see we have changed the way the str function represents or interprets our function or our class rather and uh, as far as my knowledge goes we also have the data classes module from which we can import the data class. And let's create our other class. We call this the point. 
and we say that the x coordinate is an integer and y coordinate is an integer and we have to use the data class decorator and after that if we create a variable name with point which is an instance of the point we could say that x is 11 and y is 12 and we can simply print the b let's do that you can see now without overriding the default underscore method the str we have the same let's say more human friendly look of our class and the next thing that i want to show you is how you can use attrs so let's go ahead and from attrs import the define decorator and we call this class a point and we have to use the decorator define and basically what we can do here is to say that we have the x and the y which is type annotated and we achieve a similar result so c is an a point with the x equals to 13 and the y equals to 14 and we can go ahead and print the c value let's do that and you can see we have a similar functionality now you may ask uh, <laughs> which one is better or which one should we use as you can see the data classes and the attrs are similar in a sense that it is going to define the let's say default underscore methods that you would define if you want to make your class more like accessible or easier to use actually the story is that uh, the data class is a descendant of the attrs module so they are very very similar in that sense and as far as i know the developer was also the same what we can also do is to say that we not just want to import the define function but we can uh, import the field from the attrs module and we could say that we have two arguments x and y and x is a field and y is also a field let's save it and run it as you can see the result is similar so when we are uh, using a technically a field that is used or defined with the field function or the ib function and it lacks the type annotation then the attrs module will switch to a non-typing mode and ignores fields that have type annotations but are not defined using the field and uh, we also have the option to define private attributes for example let's go and delete it and define class p point and we have the underscore x which is going to be an integer field and the init is false and the default is let's say 10 
and we have the y which is also an int and it's a field where the init is false and the default is 40. All right, so let's see what happens when we try and instantiate our class. So D is equal to P point and print the value of D. We will see the following in the console. It works as uh, basically we would expect it. But since we have defined the init as false, the moment we try to instantiate this class with a value, so let's say underscore x is going to be 88 and underscore y is going to be 99, save it and run it it is going to say that we have an error. It says that we have got an unexpected keyword argument. Even if we say that we provide the X and the Y, it is still going to say that it is an unexpected argument. So it works as uh, we would expect it and basically say that we cannot pass values during instantiation to this class, it can only use the default values which were mentioned. And basically this is revealed by the type error stating that it takes only one positional argument, but three were given. So that's one way to do it. And uh, we can also say that we have, uh, let's say this is a three dimensional point and we have a Z variable, which is going to be an integer and it's going to be a field where we want to say that we alias this and how should we do it? Let's call this Z. So now when I pass an argument to my P point class, I can say, see that it was initialized because we allowed it, or at least we didn't forbid the initialization. And we referenced this private attribute as the Z attribute. So kind of that's uh, it. And we can also mark different attributes which are let's say key, uh, keyword only arguments. What else do we have here? Yeah. And what we can also do which is pretty interesting is to convert between different uh, convert our classes between different connection types so if we go to the import one and import the as dict and as tuple then we get two functions that allow us to transform our classes. So for example, if I say as dict p uh, d variable and as tuple the c variable, let's save it. And I don't need these double ones. Well, actually, here this one was needed. So when we execute this demo, you can see that in the first case, our attributes were converted into a dictionary. And in the second case, with the as tuple, our attributes were converted to a tuple. 
and basically there are many more uh, examples that you could use to utilize this module it also has i don't know validators conversions types and so on i i didn't want to go through the whole documentation i just wanted you to get like a sense of how you can use it so that was all see you in the next one